Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another mini Kindred Fates video. Today's a less informative and more speculative video as the systems we're going to discuss are likely not currently even in place yet in Kindred Fates. That being said, through recent statements provided by the SkyMill team during Kindred Talks 3, which I had the honor of being a guest star on, so that, I appreciate that, I think we can sort of um, piece together and perhaps come up with interesting ways the storage system will work in Kindred Fates. Who knows, maybe some of these ideas are already in the works. So during the stream, I asked an obvious question. Will there be a PC system like in Pokemon? And although that should go without saying, I asked this as it's always good to have 100% confirmation about a particular system before just assuming that it exists. Now, granted, the quote-unquote storage system likely won't work in the same capacity as that of Pokemon, where in Pokemon you simply digitize your Pokemon and sort of leave them in a state of stasis. I don't see that happening in Kindred Fates. Remember, the relationship between human and kinfolk is mutual. They're highly sentient creatures with the capacity for a wide range of thoughts and emotions. Some will have goals, aspirations, commitments, etc. In our breeding overview video, we went over the potential lore reasons as to why the kinfolk do not actually breed, but instead recruit other kinfolk as a replacement to that system. I suggested that perhaps it has something to do with the eternal nature of the kinfolk, being that if not killed, they could potentially live forever. It makes you wonder why such a being would even need to breed, but th that's not why I bring this up. In the description of my video, Stephen Lamb, shout out to you, brought up the point that perhaps it's simpler than that. Perhaps they don't breed not because they can't have babies, but because they're sentient enough not to just breed endlessly for you. Pokemon are sort of akin to animals in the sense that they're treated like pets in a way. You can, you can breed your dogs, but you can't breed your friends. Imagine Ty even from Digimon trying to get Agumon to breed with, I don't know, Patamon or something. The dynamic would be quite strange. Now where I'm going with this is that a storage facility or a PC box or something to that extent, in my opinion, is out of the question. And I think the devs know that too, because they stated they'd have an equivalent and not the exact same thing per se. So the natural progression to this sort of topic is to wonder, well, okay, Kindred Fates has a bond system where if I treat my kinfolk like crap, it'll eventually lower its bond and eventually leave. So if I just store it, will that happen? Now, the response to this line of questioning, and Chopper was the one who asked this question during the Twitch stream, uh, leaned on the fact that these systems are really not in place and we don't quite know how they're going to handle it just yet. That being said, I'm sure they have some idea in mind and through some logic-based speculation as well as one key clip, I think we can come to a general idea of how this might turn out. My idea on how this could work involves the player house. You can customize your own home and such, but as of right now we don't know a whole lot about the other features that the home will have, but I think they could have a feature where it holds your kinfolk. Now this sounds kind of strange at first because you're letting a bunch of animals basically chill in your house, but remember they're fully sentient and they don't need you to survive. They don't need you at all. They can just go about their lives. I can imagine perhaps an Ember just chilling on your sofa watching TV while he is quote unquote in storage. That brings me up to my next point that if the storage system lets uh, kinfolk get so upset that they end up leaving, it would cause a large amount of frustration as the player is likely only going to be able to hold three to four kinfolk according to Rob and Andrew uh, on, its, on their team at the same time. So having them leave would be frustrating. You'd have to keep swapping everything in and out. Instead, having them hang out at your house could be a good sort of lore way to justify them not getting mad at you. Perhaps the bond level could drop, but not to the point of them straight up leaving. Like when you don't hang out with a friend for a while, you're not going to lose that friend, but your friendship might decrease a little bit because you haven't spoken to them or seen them in quite some time. But you know, if you do speak to them after a couple months, let's say they're, oh, hey man, how you doing? It's not, it's not like, oh, I'm not friends with you anymore because you haven't spoken to me. They could do something like that instead of just throwing them into a box. Just try to imagine having to constantly keep the bond up with all 159 kinfolk if you happen to catch them all, plus phantoms. You're gonna have to constantly swap in and out your kinfolk just to make sure they don't leave. So I do see them having some sort of system that doesn't fully make them leave you. A cool way this could work, and Charlie M brought this up in the uh, subscriber discord, is that perhaps you can upgrade your house to make it larger for more space for kinfolk. Now don't forget, they don't all have to physically be inside. You can have some hanging out in the front, in the back, etc. A key piece of evidence supporting this theory that I mentioned earlier is that in the extended trailer, we see Kodoki just kind of chilling on your bed. 
Could it be a hint at the storage system or just a cosmetic piece for the house? Only time will tell. Another option that I've been pondering is perhaps there'll be like a little village or something that your kinfolk can populate and that can be upgraded. Or another option could be that they just sort of leave and go about their regular business. Then you can like summon them at an altar. This would perhaps have it so you can't actually find them anywhere in the game, but for, for lore reason, they're just, you know, out doing something. You, you see that in games where an NPC will be like, I'll meet you at the next village and you know, you won't see them walk into the village. They just kind of disappear and appear when, when, when they're needed. Perhaps the Kadoki in the house could be related to the houses acting as a place where you can store a small amount of kinfolk and uh, have some sort of bonuses attached to that, like Pokepelago uh, from Pokemon Sun and Moon. I mean, they did state in the stream that no kinfolk will stay garbage forever ref when referencing IVs, so perhaps this could have something to do with it? Who really knows? But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed going down that little rabbit hole with me. I know some of the questions I asked during the stream might have seemed either odd or obvious, but sometimes when you ask a question that seems obvious at a first glance, you end up getting more information than you might have originally sought out for. And I think this is a great example of that. I already had ideas of for how the uh, storage system could work, but having it confirmed and then having the additional comments from Rob and Andrew really put me in a position where I can make this video. Now, I'm not making this video because I'm out of ideas and it's like, oh, PC box, that's random. I, I genuinely wanted to make a video about this because I thought it was an interesting topic to speculate about. Next week, we'll be back to our full length Kindred Fates videos. We're doing a deep dive on evolution. So I hope you look forward to that. Until then, make sure to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at GymLeaderEd, check out r slash monster tamers on Reddit, our subscriber Discord, and until next time, peace.